It's that season again when temperatures. It's very, very cold. Take some downtime. And I can feel it right down to my bone too. Like I'm shivering. Down to the teens today. It's cold. Too cold. I've been praying to God, help! <laughs> it's not a record breaking cold snap, but it was cold enough to break something else. Just heard a big bang and come to find out a water pipe buster going out to the outside. At Paul Rogers place, a broken water line brought high tide to his living room. He called out Rotor Rooter. Uh, this is actually a no fixture. They say the pipe problems are on the rise when temperatures sink. So take precautions. You want to make sure that you're uh, looking for pipes that are close to exposed areas where cold temperatures can seep through the house. And calls for malfunctioning furnaces. Sorry Thank you for calling Apollo Home. This is Brittany. Skyrocketing at Apollo today. Not everyone seemed to be bothered by the cold like this guy. What, what are you thinking of this weather? I think it's great. <laughs> no hat or gloves. Drinking ice water and riding a bike. Normally I would be wearing shorts. And who's up for some boating? Not the kind of skiing you think about in the winter. Turns out this is actually a safety crew for Duke workers on a bridge. The good news is, is it's only six months to the heat of summer. When you're waiting for a bus in these temperatures, it feels like you're waiting years when you're really waiting five minutes. Time can be subjective. Now it's also a good time to take that reminder to unhook your hoses if you haven't done that already. Always causes a problem. The water can't get out. It backs up and then busts a hole in your pipe like right there. Exactly what happened to this. One of the most common ways people break their pipes this time of year. So get on that if you haven't already done it. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5.